Hello, welcome Libra to your current energy reading. Wishing you a very happy birthday. So let's start off with the cause and effect card. So this message is reminding you that everything that you're living currently is a direct result of all the thoughts that you've had in the past and that you've allowed to manifest. Thoughts are real and they're made of, of energy, color, density, and they're designed and propelled by your intention. The universe will perfectly respond to the thought energy that you create. If you desire a life full of love, happiness, and abundance, then you must, you must be very mindful of your thoughts because you are the director of your destiny. Think of yourself as a magnet attracting to you what you send out. It is imperative that your thoughts be of a high vibration because the energy of judgment and condemnation will find its way back to you. So if you condemn and you judge, then you will also be judged. You will also be condemned. What you sow, you will reap. So make it a daily practice to monitor your thoughts. Bless others, bless situations, and you will also be blessed. Let love be your guide. You're also being asked to surrender defensiveness. Defensiveness or being like on the defense, and in this case, like being hostile about it, it's a sign of weakness. To communicate in a more empowered way, stay centered and hear someone out. Just kind of bite your lip for a minute and stay in a non-judgmental place where you're listening to the other person and you're listening to their story or their side of what's happening as a valid perspective. There needs to be respect. If you want to be respected for your opinion and, your, and what you have to say, then you need to also respect other people and make sure that if you don't want to, you know, for people to be hostile towards you or defensive, then you also have to make sure that you don't give that out. Also, you're being asked currently to surrender any addictions, um, you know, and, and this might be something that you've been dealing with, and this is, has to do with food or people, sex, or work, or even substances. Uh, taking action to heal your addiction it can be a long process, right? But you've got to do it. You've got to take the time to make sure that you're moving away from anything that's, you know, is like a crutch, it has helped you maybe to get through certain things. But now it's time for you to replace those with healthier alternatives, you know, with, with something different, something new, something that will sustain you into the long term. Now, as part of your psychic medicine, you're being asked here to look at your friendships and cherish them because your friendships are there to also help you heal from whatever it is that you're going through. You know, you're aware that your thoughts create your reality, and so the love that you put out there is the love that you're going to get back. And that happens with friendship. That's a very important uh, thing that we have is the ability to create harmony and friendships with other people. You know, that'll help you with letting go of things that you've been dependent on emotionally. And, uh, you know, will also help you calm down and not be so defensive when you know that people are on your side and they care for you and they're compassionate, they're non-judgmental. So the friendship card lets you know that we're all coming from the same source. And so, you know, we're all family, but certain souls have a unique kinship. You know, friendships can be the most exciting and beautiful experiences on earth, but they can also be frustrating and heartbreaking. So understand that everyone is on their own path and they're on your path as well in order to teach you something. It may be a short friendship, it may be a year, it might be a lifetime. But together you will teach each other various lessons of the heart, such as trusting, loving, being loyal, and admiration. The bonds of friendship are often stronger than those of family. You formed a bridge of understanding between the two of you that has stood the test of time. 
and of lifetimes. A true friend will illuminate your path instead of dim it. He or she will give you advice with your best interests at heart. So to be able to communicate at a soul level with another human being is one of the biggest treasures of living on earth. So allow this, these friendships that you have to develop, to further nurture your life and to help you again to overcome any type of disease. Once you have that love abounding, you know, around you, then, you know, there's very little that can bring you down. Now, as part of your relationship reading here, it's letting you know that sometimes you can forget to see the magic in your interaction with others. And this, you know, can go directly with friendship. So you've been looking for a relationship, maybe, or friendships, and you've been disillusioned or discouraged. Maybe no longer believing that you're capable of manifesting a relationship. Your enthusiasm diminishes and you no longer provide the universe with the energy that it needs to produce this relationship. So, you know, struggling too long for improving an existing relationship can just keep it there, keep it stuck. So this is a time for you to move forward, is to attain what you've been seeking to improve what you have. It's not the time for complacency. You know, make sure that you take advantage of the energy that's surrounding you at this moment in order to move forward and either letting go of relationships or healing them, transforming them, or attracting new ones that are healthy for you. But you've got to take action. So this card is all about action, taking action in order to improve your state of relationships. It requires for you to be vigilant, you know, to be able to see to take note, to take, uh, you know, like stock of what you um, care about in a relationship, what you value in other people. So then the universe can bring that into your life. But you've got to make sure that you, you know, you, you commit to it, that you are sure about what you want in a friendship or relationship. So lift your spirits and look at the opportunities that present themselves for you to act upon them and continue on this wonderful journey of being a human and sharing this humanity with other humans and beyond. In terms of your abundance, um, the angels of abundance are guiding you to nurture a savings account or a multiple savings account. This could also be like investment. In order to provide that security that you need um, and to also have a source of funds, you know, a reliable one, then a savings account or some kind of an investment account is in order uh, for you to move forward in uh, a very secure way. Abundance is something that can be very difficult to acknowledge in our lives because of the way that um, money is regarded and how certain numbers are, you know, everyone wants to make a hundred thousand dollars or more here in the United States. But this isn't necessarily about making more money or wanting more money. This is about allowing yourself to invest in yourself, to invest in your future. This is an act of faith and also a way for you to, to feel secure, you know, there's a history in the economy of the world where, you know, money can come and go really quick. But in order for you to feel more secure and in this way, be more connected to the abundance, take the step for you to be able to uh, feel secure. You might want to take an extra job in order to be able to provide this cushion, but make sure that you don't burden yourself with tons of work, you know. This is a way to be able to uh, release your debt and to protect yourself from debt so that you don't feel like you owe anyone anything. So by providing this uh, safety net, if you will, um, this abundance that you're putting away, you are also attracting more abundance. But only 
put it in a savings or only create a savings account if you truly feels right for you. You know, if you feel like it's the wrong thing for you to do, then don't do it because more than likely what you're going to do is to attract a situation where your savings need to be used up and you're left without anything. So make sure that you also look at your the way that you're doing it. You know, save whatever it is that you can. Put aside money. Pay yourself. You know, God doesn't want us to be burdened by debt. But if we're constantly spending all of our money until we have nothing and we have to wait till the next paycheck, then we're putting a lot of stress in our lives. We're putting a lot of limitations as well. So investing is a way of demonstrating self-respect and investing in yourself. So remember, you're a co-creator in every aspect of your life, including your financial life. You have, to, you have the power to be an agent of change for yourself and for the whole planet. And make sure that you also put that in there. You know, your intention is not to hoard money. It's not to keep money away from others. But it's to invest in yourself and to invest in the highest good of everyone. So this money is not to hurt people, but it's to help others, to help yourself and to help other people. So make a conscious effort to set aside some percentage and you know, be flexible with it. This is your income. This is your money. This is your investment. But this is another step that you can take in order to create powerful change in your abundance. Thank you so much, Libra. I appreciate you listening. We'll have another reading for you in the next week or two. In the meantime, please hit subscribe and the bell if you want to be notified of the next reading. Also, I really appreciate if you like this video. It'll help to grow the channel and to include more readings and incorporate more quality. Thank you so much. Lots of blessings to you and your loved ones. Namaste.